also have taught you what is carbohydrate, what is fat, and what is protein. But before starting the whole chapter, I will recall the chapter once again. In my previous video, I have taught you what are the seven components of food. They are carbohydrate, fat, protein, vitamin, minerals, fiber, and water. We have already learned what is carbohydrate. It is energy giving food. What is fat? It is also energy giving food. What is protein? It is body building food. Now today we will deal with this two. Vitamin and mineral. So what is vitamin? We will see what is vitamin first. Vitamin are protective food. While minerals are also called as protective food. Now what are vitamins? Vitamins are required in small quantities. What do you mean by small quantities? As compared to this three components, as compared to carbohydrate, as compared to fat, as compared to protein, vitamins are required in small quantities by our body. Our body requires only small amount or small quantities of vitamin. Vitamins are protective food. Here I have already explained you that vitamin is also called as protective food. Now why they are called as protective food? What do you mean by protective? Protective means to protect. So here vitamins help you to protect us from diseases. Why do we take vitamin? Because it helps us to protect from diseases. Now also it helps to keep our teeth, gum and bone strong and healthy. It helps to keep our bone, teeth, gums, eyes healthy. ये क्या करता है? हमारी teeth, हमारे bones, हमारे gums, हमारी eyes को क्या करता है? Healthy. Now I want to tell you that there are several kinds of vitamins. There are several kinds of vitamins. Now what are they? Vitamin A, Vitamin B, Vitamin C, Vitamin D, Vitamin E and Vitamin K. There are several kinds of vitamin. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E and K. Now these vitamins have different kinds of role. What are they? Now Vitamin A first. Vitamin A helps you to keep your eyes and skin healthy. जितना आपका vitamin का intake ज़्यादा रहेगा और as long as you take the intake of vitamin A, it will help you to keep your eyes and skin healthy. Now come to vitamin B. Why do we need vitamin B? Because it helps in releasing energy and formation of red, formation of blood cells. Vitamin B kya karta hai or vitamin B hame kyu chahi? We require vitamin B because it helps in release of energy and helps in formation of blood cells. Humare blood mein jo cells bante hai wo vitamin B, B ki wajah se bante hai. Now why do we need vitamin C or how vitamin C help us or protect us? Vitamin C helps to keep our teeth, bone and gum healthy. Vitamin C kya karta hai? हमारे दांतों को, हमारे bones को, हमारे gums को healthy रखता है. It keeps our teeth, bone, gums healthy. Now vitamin D, the role of vitamin C and vitamin D are almost similar. Vitamin D also helps to keep our bone and teeth strong. क्या करता है? हमारे bone और हमारे teeth को strong रखता है. Now come to vitamin E. Why do we need vitamin E in our daily intake of food? We need vitamin E because it keeps our body and skin healthy. Vitamin E kya karta hai? Humari body or skin ko healthy rakta hai. It is just like vitamin A. Now come to last, vitamin K. Vitamin K helps you in the clotting of blood. Vitamin K helps in the clotting of blood. Blood. So these are the functions of vitamins and it helps to protect our body in different ways. This vitamin. 
Now we have done with vitamins. We will proceed with minerals. What are minerals? Minerals are protective food. Now we will discuss in more deep. Minerals are also known as protective food. They are just like vitamins. They are also called as protective food. As compared to carbohydrate, fat, protein, protein minerals are re also required in small quantities. As compared to carbohydrate, fat and protein, minerals are required in very small quantities by the body. But they have a very deep role in our body. Why? Min some minerals like calcium, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, iron and iodine are required in a uh, very uh, good amount for our body because calcium and phosphorus helps in proper formation of bones and teeth. Minerals like calcium and phosphorus helps in proper formation of bones and teeth. Why? And now iron. Iron are required by our body for the formation of hemoglobin. Now, why iron is required for the formation of hemoglobin? Because lack of hemoglobin can cause anemia. अगर हमारी body में hemoglobin कम होगा, तो क्या हो जाएगा? Anemia हो जाएगा. इसलिए हमारी body को iron जैसे minerals की जरूरत पड़ती है. Now, sources of iron. क्या खाने से हमें iron मिलेगा? Now, sources of iron are green leafy vegetables like spinach and different kinds of leafy vegetables. Egg, nuts, peas are the sources from which we can get iron. Now, iodine. Iodine is required by our body because it is necessary for keeping the body healthy. Minerals like iodine helps to keep our body healthy. That is the reason our body required minerals. Now let's recall, minerals are protective foods. They are just like vitamins, they are also required in small quantities. But they have a very important role to play in our body. Because minerals like calcium, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, iron, and iodine are required by our body. Calcium and phosphorus are required because it helps in the proper formation of bones and teeth. हमारे जो bones रहते हैं और इनकी formation के हमें calcium की और phosphorus की जरूरत होती है. Now iron is required in our body for the formation of hemoglobin because if hemoglobin will be not formed in our body, it may cause anemia. Now, the sources of iron are green leafy vegetables, egg, nuts, peas, etc. Now, come to iodine. Mineral like iodine is required or is necessary in our body because it helps in keeping our body healthy. Now, fibers and water we will learn in our next video. I hope you have understood about vitamin and minerals. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks.